So Richard, could you tell me a little bit more about the trial that you've conducted here and also what the pressure's been like this season? So we're currently at the trial site. It's a mixed orchard planted in 2005. And as you can see from this tree here, the pressure has been quite high this season. So Richard, having seen the high pressure this season, which timing has given the best visual results? So we started the trial by monitoring for woolly aphid migration from the old onto the new wood. This occurred after petal fall around mid-May and we timed the first application of Octavia to control as migration occurred. We were then looking at different application timings for follow-up sprays and one of the replicates that we're currently standing in was two weeks after the first application. So Jack, would you say it's a knockdown product then? Uh, no, far from it Richard, it's very much a, a population management tool, so what it does is it subdues any potential population bounce back later in the season by having an activity all the way through the life cycle of the pest. So thanks for that Richard. To sum up what we've seen here today, so application timing is crucial when applying Batavia. You need to monitor for the pest and the migration timing. Alongside this, you want to look at applying at the correct water rate, which we found 500 litres being the optimum. You also need to look to apply early in the morning and the smarters are open to maximise the intake of spirotetramine. Finally, you want to make sure application goes on before the PGR programme and it's the only product in the tank. Richard, also included in the trial was our bioinsecticide flipper. With the loss of actives, can you see a future for these new novel mode of action? Well, it's always good agricultural practice to rotate a mode of action so there's not total reliance on one product. And in the future, there may be a need for bioinsecticides to bolster synthetic chemistry. What sort of IPM beneficial pro profile does flipper add? Well, it allows natural predators to build up in the orchard and then also provides some natural control for 